Okay, wait. So can we get a final answer? What is the green wristband? What color is this? Um, this is just for tested talent. Okay, so this is, and this is like whatever goes. Yes, yes. So if I have someone who has a green wristband and then they want to work with me, we just I just go over and look at their tests just to be on the safe side. Right. But they have already sent their test in. Yeah. And that's that's what that means. Okay. That's yeah. Well, perfect. Yeah. I, th I don't think Finney gave us a clear. And he had one of every color. I'm like. So every color has a meaning from yeah. what I've heard. Yeah. I've heard like yellow. Mine is not, I'm not doing nothing today. Yep. You're just here chilling. Yeah. That's awesome. Yellow is for photographers. And green is for talent. And red is for you. you. And then purple pink pink is for oh lesbian only. girl girl only. only girl girl yeah girl oh, only nice that they did that yeah so i'm down for everything green means go for me <laughs> green means go. i love it well tell everybody who you are um hello everybody my name is julie ginger i'm a resident of las vegas i love it. it's, it's growing on me via iowa <laughs> The, oh, you're originally from Iowa? Yeah, when girl. Here? 2019, right before the pandemic happened. And then I it got, shut it down. Oh, man. I got six months of fun, and then that was it. <laughs> Dang. Say, go in the house, bitch. I, really, really. It was it, tough. It really was it tough. Was, and it was hot. You literally had nothing to do out here. I mean, I game. So I, I play Call of Duty. That's the only thing I play. Are you? Oh, so listen, this might be something that you could do. Well, we don't have Call of Duty. We can do but it. But we just got to switch at the oh, studio. Oh, Twitch. Switch? So oh, Twitch a is Switch. A oh, Twitch. okay. Sorry, my bad. Twitch is the account. Yes. The, so you have one of those. Yes, I have a Twitch. Tell them where you, what your Twitch is. Uh, BBW Julie Ginger. Julie Ginger. That's what it is. So it's BBW Julie Ginger. There's nothing else after that. Because they don't be deleting y'all. I mean, I, and unfortunately, yes. We yeah. get deleted so much. We have to figure out different creative ways, ways to spell. keep everything in line. That's I, I try to keep everything BBW Julie Ginger. Because you can find me that way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I tell people that too. I'm like, anytime I'm giving it, I'm like, just make sure all your names match as much as possible. Exactly. Like, I, it's so frustrating to me, to be honest with you, when people have handles that aren't their stage name. Because yeah. it's so hard to find them. It's very hard. And, and then, like, especially if it's like this. Yes, especially the big event like Girls Gone Wireless, like, whoo, I'm looking at people like, I know you, but what's your name again? <laughs> I know, and I feel so bad. Because, <laughs> Me like, too! Because I'm like, I know, I know, I know you, I know we talked, but I'm like, yeah. but, like, and it's because of that, because it's like, well, do I call you that, or do I call you name, or like, what, so it is yeah. kind of confusing. Yeah. If I could give any advice, just, it makes, if it's hard for us to find you, it's mm -hmm. hard for the money to find you, too. Yes, yes. So, make it easier for them, because, I mean, I love my men's, but they little... Mm -hmm. Just make it easy for them. I mean, even women, too. They're I've come simple across creatures. some women who have the total different from what they call themselves. Yeah. And so it really makes it, again. No, that's what I'm saying, but, it, yeah. but you want the men to go buy your stuff. Oh, true, yes. you got to make it easy for them to find you. Absolutely. That's why BBW, Julie Ginger. Yeah. Or Julie Ginger, BBW. It okay. works either way. There we go. It works. <laughs> so what kind of stuff, like, what kind of, do you do fetish? So obviously there's fetish stuff involved going on with the OnlyFans stuff oh, and things like. Oh, most definitely. What's your favorite stuff to shoot, though? Like, what's your favorite? Oh, I love sucking dick. See, someone said it's a white girl thing. Uh, honestly, I've been doing it since I was 14. Are you dick sucker I full, was huh? a dick sucker at 14 years old. You little slut. I was a slut. <laughs> my first ever dick that I ever put in my mouth was a Cuban dick. Mm. And then it was a black dick. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just kept going. And it just kept going. I've had Asian. I've had white. I don't, I haven't had, what haven't I not had? Indian. Really? Oh, I wait. definitely had. Maybe I have. He might be Them part Indian. Indians used to love to book me. He used to, I think, I think honestly, um, one of my like in, like Native American or India no, Indian 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 yeah. like from India yeah you got to be specific these yeah days. no I'm sorry India <laughs> people from India yeah there you go um, I haven't I don't think but I mean I do I do have special people I see on the side mm -hmm. <clears throat> for some of this and <laughs> just to be a little discreet and so one of them I think he might be part yeah he might be so in the industry haven't had anybody who is full Indian from India, but I mean, I'm always open. I don't discriminate. You want to fuck? Either. Come on, as come long on. You're tested. Come on. Let's make, <laughs> let's make the content, baby. I, but I love, I love guys. I love girls. I uh, haven't done trans yet. It's kind of something on my list, but it's not like super prominent because I know what my fans like. Yeah. And so I keep don't want to go too far away right, from what they like. Right. Um, being, oh, I just totally lost my train of thought. This is the <laughs> sort of shit that I'm talking about here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> here. <laughs> 
<laughs> are you so you guys are going to be doing the uh want to do the bbw reverse are you, yes are you, are you getting in on that yes uh, thor was like i hope you're coming to my reverse gangbang i was like i'm there he's like i'm with that shit I'm, what, he loves thor, it he's pumped thor up thor is like my brother that you fuck that i fuck <laughs> <laughs> But, like, we have so many great, fun, like, taboo scenes together. So he's yeah. one of my, like, because, like, hello, look at this. Yeah. It's dark right now because I've been sweating my ass off after already filming. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's like, my, like, my he's, porn brother. He's a brother. pretty chill guy. Yeah, he's, he's a pretty chill guy. Awesome. We, just, we just interviewed him right before you, and he was, he's always a hoop. Oh, definitely. One of my favorite people to be around. He's just super cool and chill. And being a redhead, we just get along. Yeah, you it's got just, a, the gin, <laughs> ginger pride. We stick together. <laughs> Ginger Bride. Or I'm sorry, Ginger. The, Ginger. Oh my god. Have you do you ever do you watch Theo Vaughn? Do you know who Theo Vaughn is? Um, I don't think I do. So he's he has a podcast, but he's a comedian. Okay. He just had a stand up on Netflix and there was a part of that where he was saying he made a joke about that. He was just like, you know, he was a ginger kid. He's like, sorry, ginger. ginger. He was like, Mom from a different time. You know what I mean? We can't be out here calling people gingers. And it was just kind of funny. It was a funny joke for a redhead. I don't mean, I mean, I don't, I don't mind people calling me just ginger. Yeah. Because there's not very many redheads around. Yeah. So it's just automatic. Or juju is another nickname I get. Juju, like juju. Not juju. Where'd that come from? I, well, it first started with my ex-husband. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> but then other people throughout the years have just kind of just called me Picked juju. Picked it up. Yeah. How many, like, have you had any other, like, crazy nicknames or anything? Big Red. That, yeah. I mean, that's given. Yeah. But JG, Julie Ginger. Yeah. Uh, that was that. Juju. Huh? Yeah, there's that big, big red, red ginger. I mean, there's that, the, that's the about basics. It. The basics. The basics. Yeah. Hey, nobody got creative on you, huh? <laughs> no one really. I was got... like the ones that just throw you off. I always got the bit like Judy's and Brenda, Big Booty Brenda. I, I mean, Big big Booty anything, Julie, big but booty. other than that. Yeah, it's like, come on. We got to get more creative than this. <laughs> Absolutely. I they used to call me Snow White, and I'm like, she has black hair. It's, she's not even. Very true. Why am I Snow White? Because I'm just Snow Bunny. So yeah. Ugh. Nah. Nah. I hate it. That's black. You're <laughs> trash. That's, you can come up with something better than that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So how long have you been doing this porn industry OnlyFans stuff? <sighs> five years back last month. I just celebrated five years so last the, month. You're one of the original OFers, huh? Um, you know what? I did start an OF. But I didn't actually put shit on it until 2019. Mm, okay. Yeah. It started like right before it started kicking. Yeah. Crazy. I had, I had, somebody had told me about OF and I was like, what is this? What is this? And so I just signed up. My first month I made $11. <laughs> And then it kind of, then it, then it built then from there. Like, Whoa. <laughs> and then it just kind of went, whoop. Crazy. <laughs> but yeah. So I, what were you I, doing before that? Were you, you were doing porn or were you doing? So I started my first, and I did my first ever actual porn scene in 2017 in chicago with bbw highway okay so that's that was my first ever like being on camera in front of people filming it things like working with actual talent stuff yeah. like that um i had always been just kind of doing my own thing at home um i had started actually a um oh what is it called Tumblr. That's how I got noticed. That's how Tumblr people. Tumblr is big for people in our industry. Dude. Yeah. But five years ago. Yeah, it was huge. Six years ago, it was mm, there was no restrictions. If you think about it, if you go back and look when they decided to take the XXX side out, quote unquote, it's still there. Yeah. It's just that you get tagged a lot more often. Yeah. And so on and so forth. So, um, yeah. That's I feel like even I, Twitter is starting to do that now. Like I've had Twitter since I worked at the Bunny Ranch, so I've had it for seven, eight years, wow. maybe. And yeah, it's almost eight or nine years ago at this point, but it, I, I don't ever get flagged anymore, but I don't mm -hmm. really post too much stuff, but I have like an OG account. Like, mm. so like, I feel like people now, when they, if they've created an account within the last four or five years or like less than five years, like they'll get flagged crazy. Yeah. 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 My first, um, my first Twitter is, has been suspended. I've been trying diligently to get it back. They only suspended me because of my header. Oh yeah. It's like, it's the you can't stupidest use, thing. like a sexual photo as like your, yeah. as like your main photo yeah, yeah not even in crazy. not even in your profile your yeah. picture you can't have anything so i tried using a, one of my commissions i had just like a cartoon style like booty and yeah. my name nope got flagged Dang. so i use only the julie ginger logo i have now and yeah but you can you post get. whatever you want but you can post whatever you want it's crazy it's ridiculous but they don't want the main part of it i guess because i think that's like to hopefully help with the under 18 crowd yeah. Which makes sense. To kind of filter. Right, yeah. right. But 
you know, yeah, you live and you learn. You just kind of figure it out. You keep you figure out another way to make money. It's <laughs> all good. No, I still have a good a good following on Twitter. I've got you know like building back up. So yeah. thankfully I have that. And my current Instagram I've had for a, a number of years now, and I've been really thankful it hasn't been shut down because yeah. I'm over seventy thousand right now, which is. For me, I'm like, oh, that, that's finally. Hard, that's hard to get there. <laughs> it yeah. is. Once, it you, is. once you get past the 100, though, then it kind of like goes through like this like flood where you're like, grow, 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 and then you get stuck again. It's like, it goes through pieces. I'm just thankful that people follow me. That's all I'm yeah, thankful and for. Yeah, it seems like you're doing great. You seem really dope. What, so what point were you, did you start hooking up with like Kendra and Stay Ready and like the Girls Gone Wireless crew? Oh, wow. Um, I would probably say... I got known Kendra, and I and I think her and I followed each other for a number of years. Um, but actually, coming to an event is when I got invited to her wedding uh, when she got married. Yeah, back that in was Vegas so dope. So, like, I was three there. years, two yeah. years ago. Has it been two years now? Yeah, it's gonna be two years in October. Two, two years in October, I thought so. Um, and then she's like, "Will you come to the thing after, or like the next day?" And I was like, "Absolutely!" Yeah. Like I would not miss out on an opportunity. Yeah. To first of all, like meet new people, network, but also just be around dope people. Everyone there was so sweet. It was I, such a pretty wedding, too. It was. It was, Aww. like, simple, but really pretty. And I it loved was, it. Yeah, her I dress was it. gorgeous, that oh black God. dress. Mm, oh, mm, so mm, bomb. Mm, mm, mm. Like, I am thinking about it now. Just It was just a, you're right, it was just a beautiful, really simple, simple wedding. But so, like, capturing. Yeah, for sure. It you was know, dope. She did like, a good job. Listening to the, the vows and then just the atmosphere. And, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I had a good time. It's very similar to the experience today. Just really mm-hmm. everyone's just down for it. Yep, absolutely. Well, if you don't mind, tell everyone where they can follow you one more time because we're going to probably get some other people over here. I am fine with that. I don't want to over talk now because <laughs> I want you to come to the studio and I want to sit oh, down and really talk. Let's really so let's not overkill it. Let's so that really we talk. Just give you a little sample. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I am on every platform you can imagine. Every everywhere. All of them. Um, BBW Julie Ginger is literally the best thing you can like just Google or even start typing in. Um, I think I might be shadow banned on Twitter, so <laughs> add that one after you type everything in. Um, but yeah, you literally can find me over by just Googling so- BBW Julie Ginger or the reverse Julie Ginger BBW. So. I love it. Okay, now I just need a spin <laughs> before you go. Oh, we gotta show asses oh, off. Oh, oh, hold up. We do a little spin around here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for you to come to the studio. Yes, I'm so excited to come to the studio, and thank you for having me again. And woo! I, <laughs> go, I didn't know for some reason. Let me before you go. I'm gonna add you back so yes. we can talk. Yes, okay. absolutely. Right. We're gonna get somebody else. Let's in do second. it. Okay, so we are back, and I found my girl Stella. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. How's your experience been over here at Girls Gone Wireless? How's it going over here in the house? It is so much fun. Um, it's super it's hectic. A little closer. Closer. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's been super hectic. Uh, yesterday, I got in five scenes, so today I'm like not in any rush. I'm You're like, just chilling just, today, huh? Yeah, like whenever someone wants to pull me into a scene, I'll just go for it. Did you have everything set up before you even got here? Like, nope. did you pre schedule? No, because every time I come to a content house and I pre schedule and buy all these really like elaborate outfits and plan all these scenes with different people it never happens yes so then you spend a lot of money and you waste a lot of time and energy and it doesn't happen so I just come and I just go with the flow and it seems to work out better that way yeah it seems like a good approach I was actually telling uh, my friend I don't know if you know Maze I was telling him yeah he was like no one set up any times or schedules with me and I'm like that's not how content parties go. Like yeah. you just kind of go with the flow. It's yeah. like, he's like, oh, yeah. he's like, I don't even know what I'm gonna do because now I scheduled <laughs> stuff and it didn't work out and no one scheduled with me and I'm like, no, you just no, gotta I, go there. I, and jump I've never, in the scenes. Uh, I've never shot with him, but yeah. I know he's coming and yeah. it's like, I mean, I'm, I'm literally like, I do not discriminate. I shoot with everybody. I shoot he's, with every race, cool. every person, every girl, every man. Like I'll do anything and everything. That's what's up. Yeah. So how'd you get into the porn lifestyle? <sighs> so. Um, I was an escort first. Okay. Um, I've been doing that since I was 21 and I'm 28 now. So, um, about three years ago, Clint from Plumper Pass contacted me. Oh, that's a good brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, those were the first people I shot with and it's just kind of gone up from there. Um, the first, I was only in porn less than a year. It was like 10 or 11 months 
And then Clint had messaged me and was like, hey, you know, you were like nominated for like the best new BBW starlet of the year. And I was That's like, cool. I haven't even been doing this a year. I was like, are you serious? And like, I mean, I didn't win, but um, I was like third runner up and I was yeah, like, I'll take it. Nomination is still yeah, a good accomplishment. Yeah, I was, I was very, very sure. I, I thought that came, you know, like years into the yeah, industry. Yeah, putting time in. But um, yeah, it's been fun. So I haven't really shot with any other. I did shoot with Score and like XL Girls. Mm -hmm. I did that. Um, but that's really like it, other than like the shoot houses and stuff. Yeah, the content doing. You just yeah. do. You, do you like doing a more production type of thing, or do you like the OnlyFans kind of keep it? I like both. Yeah, I like the production because it gives you more publicity. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it brings more traffic. It's a little more to glamorous. Me. Exactly. Yeah, but. Um, when shooting, I prefer this style better because it's continuous and you don't really stop. But yeah. with production, it's like you, you know, you stop and you go and you stop it's and more you acting. go. Yeah, and it's like, oh, you know, Stella's lipstick's messed up from second deck, you know, like someone. So it's like then you got to stop doing the scene so someone can fix your lipstick and fix your hair. And it's yeah. like people have, man. I wish I had somebody would stop and do that for me, but Victor just let me look like an asshole. <laughs> You say yep. Dude, I'm never going to get over this scarf. I had a scarf <laughs> across my face and half my photo. You're still my friend. You're supposed to be there. He's, so we're doing a rabbit tails episode, okay. which is basically we, we bring on guest photographers sometimes. And yeah. like if, I, if another girl comes on, we'll shoot with them. Okay. Victor records it as an episode and does the behind the scenes while the, while the photographer shoots, right? Okay. So the... Somewhere around the line, the wind had knocked this fucking, because I did, like, that vintage <laughs> look. And I'm like, how are my photos like this? He was like, he's like, I wasn't the photographer. I'm like, <laughs> you're, you're still my production team. <laughs> team. You Let me know. He was just lot. He was doing B-roll somewhere, walking around somewhere. <laughs> look at him. I love it. Ain't <laughs> he's shit. over there like, shit. I love my dog, man, but he, oh, that's a nice penis over there. Yeah, uh, that is uh, Savvy. Over there. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. it. Hey. I He's we really cool. <laughs> I just met him. Uh, Have you yesterday. shot with him yet? N um, I sucked his dick yesterday. That's a huge dick. In like a, uh, what's it called? Uh, an orgy? Was it an orgy? A gang? Yeah, it was orgy. Like like twenty, like fifteen of us were all together. Okay. And it was just like. Was it all girls, one guy, or was it just a bunch of? A bunch of, of girls and a bunch of guys. Oh, and it was just wherever it goes. Yeah, it was. We were just. We'd be like switch, and then. Those are always. <laughs> I've only done like all girl orgies and mm -hmm. they're always just like, I never know what to do. I'm always like, do I, who so, do I? G do you date girls? No. That's why. <laughs> but if you, you can tell girls who are like really into other women and who are like my friend Chanel and I, we had to do um, the scene the other day for someone, right? And it was a girl, girl scene and it was a lesbian scene. Well, we are not lesbians. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's like, but we work really well when there's a dick there. So you know what I mean? So it's like as yeah. long as there's like a guy, like we work. It's way easier. It's, the chemistry is better because like we're naturally more attracted to men. Mm -hmm. But us the whole time, we're like trying to scissor. And then the guy's like trying to tell us what to do and where to put our legs. And we're just yeah. laughing. And I'm like, this is going to be the so part, horrible. Like the actual action isn't the hard part. It's just like when the switching, you're like, okay, who do who do I lick now? And Ooh, what like, part do I put in my mouth? Where's your butthole? <laughs> Let me spread this. Is Where's the titty? Like, you're like, ooh, second tits, you know? And I'm just like, yes. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Exactly. I'm just trying to find something to lick right now. Something to put in my mouth. Right. Somebody <laughs> shoved this dildo in me. <laughs> That's all it is. I love it. So how did you get hooked up with the Girls Go Wireless crew? Um, uh, Clint from Plumper Pass, he, like, was like, oh, yeah, Kendra does this thing. And, like, um, I had seen it, you know, surfacing all over the place and Instagram and stuff like that. And so I was like, okay. Um, so I reached out to her and I was like, hey, I hear you have this content house. Like, she's like, yeah, we'd love you to come. They're and so sweet. So I've I've pretty much been here ever since. I think there was one I couldn't come to. but ever So I've been doing it with them for like a year, year okay. and a half. Is this I your, think? what, second or third party? This, no, this is like my third or fourth. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's dope. I love it. I love Kendra. Do you, how do you feel like the progression as far as like when they first started to now? Is this, It feels like it's just getting to be like more easy and flowing it's, yeah it's getting more easy and, and it's the same thing with every content house you like learn like what works and what doesn't work you yeah. know like this time around this is the first time we've done the bands but it's super helpful because now we know okay when i see a yellow band I you're a camera guy exactly yeah. like cool are you available let's go you know like the people who are in green it's like okay you know your your test has already been scanned you've already been yeah, okay so do you shoot with BBWs? Oh, you do? Okay, cool. Let's go. Right. You know? It just makes it a little easier to 
yeah. categorize people. Exactly. So that's new. Um, then this time around, a lot of the fans and um, a lot of the talent are staying off site. Mm -hmm. So it's it's nice because the house stays cleaner. You yeah, know? that is one thing I hated about content house. It just gets crazy. It gets crazy. Yeah. So, um, I how has it been working with the fans? Have you were you one of the ones the talents that worked with yeah, them? I'll, How's it I've, been? It's been good. Um, I like working with the fans because a lot of the fans that come. I don't know if I can say this, but they're you know they they're they're, they're, they're not black. You know, yeah. okay. You can say that. I'm like, can I say that? Because you know, on my OnlyFans and stuff, everybody assumes that I only shoot with black men. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like that's not the case. Like I shoot with everything. I love shooting with Thor. Like, but it's like Thor is literally like the only white penis on any of my platforms. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like it's just not. It's just as like it kind of goes hand in hand sometimes. It seems like all the black guys always are like into the BBW, into thing. the thicker girls and yeah. stuff. And yeah, and it, I mean, it is what it is. So. <laughs> You're like, it's kind of nice. It is what it is. Stuff. But have, yeah. have they been like nervous? How they've been performing? Have they been kind of like, um, okay. they seem like they've been hanging in there? Yeah. So like one of the fans, um, I've shot with him before. He's come to a few events. Um, you can definitely tell he's gotten better each time. His first time. Um, it was a little, you know, you're ner I mean, you're nervous. People don't understand. Like you watch porn and you like, oh, like this is. Oh, I would, I could do that. I could do that. Well, could you, buddy, when you got this big burly black man with a camera, <laughs> like standing over you and you've got 20 other ongoers watching, like, yeah. you know, like some people, you, you really, they have no clue. No clue. I feel like there's always people like always in my DM, like, oh, help me get into porn. I'm like, well, one, I don't even do porn, but yeah. and two, it's like, like, that's what I, they post this all the time. Go yeah. call them. This yep. is the best way to get your foot Ex in the door is exactly. to go pay, exactly. to go make some porn take that content and start your own OnlyFans. I don't know what you want me to do. Like, go one do of, it. Yeah. One of the fans actually who came last time to the event, it was his first time coming to an event and, um, he has never done anything. Right. He came to the event, did his thing. And since the last Girls Gone Wireless event in January, he's had like three or four paid professional shoots. Good for him. That's dope. Yeah. So, you know, like it's it. People are always like, oh, no, no, no. You know, like at the end of the day, you got to you know, make your own way. You've got to make your own way. And like people think that, oh, you just have to, you know, have sex and then that's it. No, like people don't want to invest any money into yeah. it. And it's like to you have like it is you're your own business owner exactly. at that point. You know, it's like exactly. you have to put as much as much energy time. And just like if you don't if you were having a regular job, you get up every day and work eight hours. Right. Right. So if you're not getting up and like doing stuff like that, like mm -hmm. whether you're posting or networking or setting up stuff mm -hmm. or whatever it is that you're doing, figuring out what the next events are to doing research in your craft, you're not going to do well at it. Exactly. It's not just like, oh, I get to fuck for fun. Like, and just like with a regular job, you know, you work and then you get paid. So it's like, you're not gonna, you're not always going to get, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I have to explain that to my mom. Like my mom knows what I do. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell her, you know, like, Hey, you know, she's like, is this even lucrative? Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, porn is an investment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you invest this time and energy and money and eventually it comes back and it's, you make back all your money plus and then some. Well, and then some. And then some. A lot of people can't get past that threshold, though. A lot of people burn out before they get to the part where they really start like yeah. seeing what they put, what they seeded earlier. Yeah. I mean, it's taken me three years to get to a point. Well, I mean, like to a point where people are starting to recognize me and we realize have the, who we I have am. We have the credibility with it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So it's taken it's taken a while, but um, you know, I I am just. Taking the ride and just going with the flow. Oh, you seem like you're doing a great job at Thank it. Thank you. I'm Thank glad you. you. I'm glad I got to get you to come sit with yes. us. Yes, yes. So tell people where they could um, follow you. So um, my OnlyFans is um, at Stunning Stella Daniels, and then um, my Twitter is at Stella DDTX because I'm from Dallas, Texas. Hey, it's one of my favorite <laughs> cities. Yes, I love Dallas. And then um, my OnlyFans, it, wait, did I say OnlyFans already? Yes, Twitter. My Twitter is at Stunning Stella Daniels. So that's. That's yeah. how they can find you. Yes, well, You look beautiful. I, you know you. I need a spin. Thank you. We, got, oh, we, we need take, a spin? We need a spin. Do I need to put this down? Are, these things are heavy. Aren't they huge? I got a bruise on it from a scene Dang. yesterday. Were they yes. eating up my titties? They were. This is cute, girl. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to bring the big, big old titties out here. Hey, I love it. Everything's bigger and better in Dallas. <laughs> it is. I love Dallas. <laughs> this is my favorite place. Thank you so much for coming. Of course. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you. I have a thing that's called The Leftovers with Kylie BBW where I recycle old clothes into new clothes. Oh, let's so talk about it. So this is a dope era um, gym suit 
that I cut up and now I've made it into a swimsuit. Oh, you cut it into you cut it into this? No, I purchased the swimsuit as a blank. Oh, which okay. Is pretty, how, pretty how much anyone's yeah, paying clothes yeah. right now? But then um, I cut the old that part up. off. Okay. So, but like if you around the property, there's other things. Like Stay Ready has two pairs of shorts with him. Mm-hmm. That one is a girls gone wireless T-shirt and a baby blanket converted into shorts, and the other one is a Dobera T-shirt and other fabrics converted into shorts. That's cool. Yeah. You just started doing it. How long you been doing that? Um, I've been doing it for a long time. I watched this movie called The True Cost, and it talked about clothing and how it impacts the world. Okay. And um, in South Africa, they have a movement called Dead White Man's Clothes. And basically, it's Africa trying to save itself from our overconsumption. Um, only 11% of what's donated to thrift stores is reused. The rest of it is sold as waste. I would have never known that. That's a really big percentage. Yeah, they what they do is they pallet it up and they sell it to third world countries. So, for example, if you go to Haiti, they have a waste product which is called Fifi, and it's American old clothes that we overconsume, and then they send them there and they purchase them for a pallet, and they get what they want out of it, and the rest of it becomes trash on their beaches. Um, If you really look at the plight of people of color against our clothing overconsumption, it's it's bad out there. But yeah, in South Africa, it's called Dead White Man's Clothes. You can Google it. And in Haiti, it's called Fifi. Wow. um, That's definitely something I wouldn't even thought to think about. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was a lot. So based on that, you know, I, um, I think that's dope. I think that's, that's, so now you're like, I recycle clothes. I turn something into something new all the time. I think that's a really good thing. I mean, I feel like that's something that even, um, Thor promotes on his on his thing too. He's it like, is. you don't, yeah. Yep. Yep. Is, is that something you guys have gotten into together? Or you guys mm-hmm. are just both it's only, like-minded. It's only at this event that when I was like doing my promo pictures for my brand, um, that people were like, oh, do you know Thor wears used clothes too? Yeah. Or like I had a dress on yesterday, and I was like, oh, it's so cute. It's used. Um, That's so. Well, I feel like a lot of those people places, even like the Buffalo Exchange and stuff, started doing resale. But even they, like, they're really picky about what they'll take and. You can go with, like, two bags of stuff. They might take, like, four things. I mean, you know, it just helps me in so many ways. Like, I don't think that people realize how ebb and flow sex work is. Um, And you just have to use your mind all the time to think, like, where can I have new money coming in? What can I have coming in? And I had got, like, at at a certain point, you have so much Fashion Nova from your photo shoot, so much Shein. You wear it one or two times, and it's done. Yeah, Yeah. so um, I have posted on Facebook to sell my youth clothes, and I made, like, $1,000 in a week. And it just kind of, you know, has yeah. developed and grown from there. That's dope. I think that's a really good idea. And you're right. We both from sex work. We're always trying to figure out another way to like, to hustle or grind or right. make money. Like that's what we do. We just think about other ways to make bread. I think that's dope as fuck that you're doing that. Right. And you're, st- I mean, and you're taking away from the carbon footprint at the same time, or you're adding, you know, to it. So, how do you say the adding or taking away? Cut it out. Well, I'm realistically, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, because it did restore itself for a while. Like, there was like a huge when we were in COVID. They were talking about like just from being inside, the ozone layer was literally repairing itself. Mm-hmm. And like now that we're back out, we're just like going right back and destroying it again. It, well, like, and they like talked, yeah, they talked about how even like um, animal behaviors in zoos changed because they were not having the people coming oh, in. Oh, like and less out. interaction yeah, with animals. Yeah, there are other things. No, yeah, the less extra interaction with animals benefited them positively. They wow. weren't as stressed. There's been other studies where they've showed how the world and the environment was like. Like, yeah, once we went back I in think our house. I think that's what Mother Nature was trying to do. Like, can you give me a break? Yeah, I'm going on vacation. Y'all take your asses inside for a little bit. Right. You know? Definitely. But I feel like even, I mean, with COVID, I, a lot of sex work actually was like with a few industries that actually still thrive through that, you know, and with stuff like this, the content stuff. Let's and talk about let's that. Let's talk about that. <laughs> so um, when I first started doing porn in 2013, um, I had ended up getting my son taken away associated with adult work. Oh, so wow. I, that wasn't an option for me. The P that I had at the time was like, um, bitches in this industry never get their kids back. You never going to get your kid back. And I was Dang. like, bet. So I quit and I moved into a homeless shelter and I became a banker. And for two years I was a banker. So when COVID started, I was at the bank. I was top 10% oh, wow. banker. Yeah. You know, living my mom life, living my vanilla life. And then it was like somebody at my branch got COVID and I was 
pre-diabetic so I was scared for my life then um my son's school shut down and he was only 11 at the time and he wasn't ready to be home alone all the time yeah that's a lot right and then um they released the savage song and Beyonce shouted out only fans yeah and I said okay fine I'm gonna do it and I got Dang. 70 I got 70 subscribers as soon as I started it because my old fan base was so eager to find my they're new like where work. has she been yes. yeah so it, it popped off instantly and it went off but I don't think it's like sex work is never rewarded for the things that it does for you they don't realize how much we stimulate the economy well and the reality is as a single mother who was pre-diabetic with a son by herself if it was not for the fact that i had only fans i would have starved to death when i applied for unemployment they took five months to process that because there was yeah, so much fraud in california you know yeah. and it's like People never really talk about that aspect. There's not any other country in the United States of America that's giving women the capability to earn so much money from home. Yeah. The one thing about it I will say, though, is when I did get my son back, they said, um, CPS said, I can never make videos in my home. It does not matter if my son is home. It does not matter if he is not home. Oh, wow. In the state of California, you can't make videos in the well, same home. That's probably something good, that, good information to just get out there to girls that may not know and may be in a situation where they're fighting with an ex or something like if you are doing OnlyFans, it may be a good idea to yeah. rent a studio somewhere or, you know, rent, like there's places like, like the peer space and like studio space that people will rent out. Like we're going to start doing that too, rent out spaces and stuff for people to do OnlyFans for that situation, right. you know, yeah. like make it easier for stuff like this. The Girls Gone Wireless stuff, you can come get all your content. I work being exclusively through Girls Gone Wireless at this point. Yeah. I, um, a couple years back, I got diagnosed with ADHD. Mm -hmm. And last year in May, during Mental Health Awareness Month, I'm like, let me figure out what this means to me. Right. And when you learn about ADHD, they have pie charts. And it's like, hey, here's ADHD and here's autism and here's how they mirror each other. Well, when I was reading them, I always had at least half of the stuff on the autism side. So I went back to my psychiatrist and I'm actually in the process of being diagnosed for autism. So you're on the spectrum. So I'm on the spectrum. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, just learning a lot about myself. And it was like, so when these guys were contacting me to say, up these shoots I did not understand at the time that my brain was programmed completely different yeah. from theirs but to me the idea of meeting up with a total stranger to have sex in a hotel room was like not cool yeah. and then there were people who were already in the industries who I was like okay you know yeah I'll set up with a club with you and it's like one time I flew to Vegas and by when I got to Vegas the guy was like well I have a contract with bigger companies so I've already gone to LA oh yeah I think Sorry I remember you, you saying Vegas. this last time you came to Vegas it was like a shit show and you're like I just can't anymore. yeah and it's like I understand other people having contractual obligations but where is the fairness for the fact that I left my son and bought a flight and I'm here to work in the hotel and you're like, oh no, sorry, I had, to, I had to leave, you know? So it was like, I was having experiences like that or also like, I've been a prostitute so long, I'm not cupcaking with you for content. That is not happening. We not smoking no blunts. Um, so we, all you, these bitches are not turning in my photographers house. Photographers and the pimps. Yeah, and... it's like it's like too much. Like or like, <laughs> the, when I got here the first night, I stayed at the link. So I'm standing around outside. I'm talking to people. One of the guys I told him I was a porn star. He's trying to break me up with my videographer of ten years, girl, by pulling a, a camera out of his pocket. He's like, "This all you need right here. You need three ring lights and this." <laughs> If that is not all we need, if honey. Y'all saw all the camera equipment in this house that I can see is twelve light stands there from where I'm sitting. And thousands, thousands of dollars, of dollars of production of equipment. equipment. Ain't like, no way your not... Canon is gonna get me away from my videographer. <laughs> That's funny, but there's yeah. a lot of them are like that though. They're crazy right now. It like... really is. They're trying to turn it into a relationship. So I personally just feel confident with Girls Gone Wireless. That's kept I, professional. Well, and it's like. It's like my, you know, Kendra's my friend, and it's like she's really living Zach and Mary make a porno, and I want to be a part of that. That's dope. so, you know, I I just am really enjoying it, and plus, I have a desire. To, uh, the genres of porn that I want is not in there. I want female friendly porn. I want to start advocating for that. I need a dad bod genre. I need a clothes smelling genre. Like for me, like I the fetish stuff. Yeah, well, it's in female friendly fetishes. Like yeah. guys don't go around picking up your dirty gym clothes and being like, oh, this smells like my bitch but a girl is gonna pick up her dude's clothes it's a little this, i do i call I smell, it i, I call it medium spicy i need the medium spicy i need that dick with two errands on it <laughs> i need half a gym appointment i don't like a fresh dick i need at least a sprinkling of pheromones for me to get there and also pubic <laughs> hair i think 
I think this is a spectrum -y thing because I like what I like. And when I, I don't started, think it's a spectrum -y thing. I on, think it's listen, just like you're me, more open. Let me finish what I'm saying. Go ahead. When I started having sex, men had pubic hair. Yeah. And spectrum -y people like things always to stay the same. So oh, now that saying. none of the men have pubic hair, I'm grossed out by that. If you pull your pants down and I see a clean swath, I have disappointment in my heart. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I needed that medium spicy. The hair carries the pheromones. You yeah, know? it does. And yeah. that's what takes me there. But yeah, that's, I've been investigating like, what is this or, or what is that? Because there's things where it's like, when the new wave comes, I don't really like it. Mm -hmm. And it's only until the last year and that that's when you I had a, I had some tools to figure out why that might be yeah you know but for me like you like I don't want change Keep yeah it. Yep. yep and words mean words and trying to be in that content world it's not worth it like what am I gonna do with your 1,000 followers that you're like fly to Indiana to see me to make a video you know yeah and that that part makes it hard. I would love for my clients to volunteer more, but when you tell a client, I need the front and back of your ID and a release and a photo, and you holding it, they're like, oh, yeah, no, no. That, that's yeah, where I got too far. People still need their discretion. Yeah, it's when a I, hard it's a hard world transitioning from the like escort and and prostitution into like the porn world, and then trying to bring your fans involved too, you know. But I always tell people, it's not the amount of fans you have; it's the loyalty of fans you have. And like, you could have a thousand fans who are paying. And you could have a million fans who aren't paying a dollar. So that's why I don't have an issue with bringing like girls who have smaller followings on and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Because a lot of their fans are will fuck with them so much harder than a bitch. Like you got 8 million followers sometimes and you got maybe 20 of them. That's really, I mean, no, they really do have bitches that pay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I've seen girls who had millions of followers and I've been behind scenes. I've watched people who ran their, you know, ran their, their creative content and stuff like that. And these girls really weren't making as much money as I thought that they should be by their following. And then I'll see a girl like with your following killing it. And you're like, it's because they have real fans. They don't have followers. It's two things. I went to college for accounting. And the reality is, is that anything you feel inside of yourself to say that somebody doesn't like you is you. Everybody yeah. has an audience out there. Exactly. So my search engine optimization is popping. Yeah. So I'm finding the people who want me. My primary problem is that I wish they would just like, they need a middleman. Like you can't get with the model management companies until you're the big dog. Yep. But I don't have the time to manage all of this. I don't. It's I can't lot. be the star and run the OnlyFans and be on the road touring. And do creative. Crit yes. And do all of that. So I just hope that as time grows, there comes in a company that's like, okay, you know, previously in sex work, we paid all websites 50%. It wasn't until OnlyFans that we got the 20%. So I'm willing to break off another company 30% if you're willing to run it and leave me alone. And do, yeah. Because I'm. Really how to find yeah. PR and like and, and brand management for people that are like still growing. Mm -hmm. there, there isn't that medium yet. Yeah. No, it, you're right. It's either stars or figure it the fuck out till you get there. Yeah. And I just think if somebody would like find that medium audience, yeah. um, they would be winning. <laughs> yeah, we're we're feeling the same way with podcasting. There's yeah. like there's not a there's a lot of people that'll like still do brand management for radio and for this and that. There's not a lot that do it for like podcasting and, and social media management. You but know, it's I like, mean, oh, you're not a celebrity or a ball player or right. a, a music artist. So there's no one to support you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's so many things we need help managing. If somebody would find out a payment system for the sex workers, um, you know, like we were talking yesterday about we need to start focusing on VR. But that's the benefit of having, you know, friends like this or being in a group yeah. like this. It's like everybody has a piece of the puzzle. And if we just continue to keep walking forward, we all going to get there together. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like about the the Girls Gone Wireless crew because that's how they act. Like, everyone comes and they're like, how can I play my part? You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I like that. Well, girl, we're going to have to come back into the studio and, like, really get a little deeper one day when we got more time. But I appreciate you coming on. I've been wanting – we've been chatting for a minute. Yeah, yeah. We've been chatting for a minute, so I'm I really glad. I definitely love my, my friends that I never met before. They, I think this is the only industry where you feel like somebody's really your friend, but you never you seen never their feet. you never even seen them, yeah. Yeah, just because you're in the same part of the game. Yeah, look, he's looking at my toes already. We just started talking. We didn't do an intro. Oh, man, my bad. It's because I'm so captivating. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. Tell everybody who you are and where they can find Hi, you. Hi, it's Kylie BBW. You can find me on Twitter at It's Kylie BBW. But really, if you just go to Google and put in my search name, it's going to pull up everything. It will. Mm -hmm. It my, works, too. My porn hub, my X videos, all she of it. She got them all. Make I sure you guys all. check my girl out.
You guys see you guys we're gonna find um who we got next well, we got the makeup artists we gotta get them for they leave so we're gonna go check out the makeup artists let them plug their stuff they, yeah they're actually here all day because after you do your scene you can do a touch-up so if oh, you invest cool. with these artists you do your scene you come back down they're gonna hit that's it back actually up for you. something that most places don't offer so that's dope as fuck so yeah. i can't wait to get them in here and see what they're doing because they, they did your makeup it looks beautiful yeah they did my makeup today i love it. it looks good on you babe all right well let's go find them Okay, so we are back, and um, I finally found some fans to come over here. So you guys came to the, gun, to the Girls Gone Wireless event. You guys, pur you guys purchased tickets to be here and make pornos and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to make you as nervous as possible, just so you know, I'm going to stare you right in your eyes and do it. Impossible. Right. <laughs> so what brought you guys to Girls Gone Wireless? We'll just start with that. Um, so years ago, uh, I actually was a fan of Kendra. Okay when i first saw her on plumper pass i think yeah and years later actually i saw her on instagram and she actually told me about this event where she's inviting fans to come out and i'm like all right that sounds cool that sounds cool let's do it and i ended up going in april of last year to orlando so that was your first event that was my first event so now you're addicted <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just teasing. And your name's Dave, so this is one of the fans who came in. And then we have Scorpio V over here, who's another. You, you also yes. are a fan that started yes. working, and now are you doing porn yourself now, or? Uh, this is actually my first event. Oh, so you're a new guy. Yeah, yeah, first event. Did you guys do any? Um, what's the word when they, when they're trying to get them to come on to like what is hazing? You guys did any hazing? No. no. Dang, no, no hazing. Su surprising. I'm actually trying to get him some uh, shoots. Yeah, yeah, so you haven't shot yet? Not yet, not yet. What um, you waiting on? Uh, it's coming, trust me. It's coming, okay, so literally. Who, 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 who are you thinking about? Who is, who's, who's your, like, I want that one Ooh, first? So Mind you, mine is red. Okay, so. Okay, just, so, <laughs> like, for, first hearing about the event, I was like, okay, like, I mean, I, it, it was just a lineup of just bad women. Just yeah. Baddies. You, just, like, the thick, you like thick girls. Thick girls, you know, big boobs, big, big ass, like. You know, I think it's like a small black guy thing. So yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, th I think that's that's what I think. It's, I think it's a black guy thing. I don't think it's a thick guy thing. Actually, I think it's just a guy thing to be honest. Because um, I know, like, I think a lot of that's kind of the misperception that a lot of people assume that like a lot of white guys don't really like thick girls. It was like slim I girls. Love thick girls. But yeah, like I have a lot of, and I'm sure you guys are like the opposite. Because I always think that you guys just have to have a big girl all the time. You know, actually, it is kind of opposite. Like a lot of black guys I've met, uh, especially living overseas in Europe. They actually will like try to talk to the slimmer. The slimmer girls. Yeah, me. I'm like, what, what, what did y'all do? I need some, <laughs> some pushing for my cushion. <laughs> you know, more more thick chicken breast for me. You know what I'm saying? But I um, love it. I love it. So, who was the first person that you shot with, ever? Ever? Yeah. Was it Kendra? Were you like fan? So I gotta get her first. No, it was actually. Um, oh, forgot her name. <laughs> Wow, we're putting on the hot seat. My mind just went blank. It's okay. Mine does that like 10 times an episode. Oh, so. Brianna Kalo. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's tough. Brianna Kalo. That was your first experience. How many, so how many have you done since then? Over the three events? Oh, man, now I got to think. Because everyone in here is like, yo, he's the number one fan, superstar. So I was like, let me, get the, let me get the OG guy and the new guy in here. Probably a dozen. So Between you, the three, you doing some work these days, huh? I've gotten two so far on this trip. So. Okay, I'm gonna have to go check out this work when you're done. Okay, <laughs> who's got the footage? Who who filmed it? Let me see what's going on. Who do you think that he should who 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 he should shoot with first? First, because hmm. he hasn't done one yet. Yeah, it's hard to choose. We gotta break break the ice somewhere. <laughs> Are you just like I'm gonna just? You don't have like one that you've been like a fan that you've been like watching. Oh yeah. The reason you came. Yeah. Who's oh, yeah. your crush, man? Who was your one that brought you here? <laughs> I mean, I, actually, my crush or the or the one that I was like excited to shoot with, she's not here. Oh. Oh. Uh, so, wait, who is it? Betty Bang. Betty Bang. She's a squirter. Don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm out now. Holding the yeah, Betty Bang is a squirter. We actually, we did a pink party a couple years ago, and sh we were, like, playing games. That's the one I was talking about. We had a mop up her pussy. But she was just squirting so bad, I had to walk around and just 
Damn. Damn, damn. Dang, damn, damn, damn. Betty. <laughs> she's always here. Is she coming at all or she's not coming at all? No, I don't think she's coming at Dang. all. Dang. All right, well, who's running around? We got to figure out who we going to get you, who we going to get your first porno with. Honestly, it's I would so say Kendra. Many. You've been Kendra? here all day, bro. I've been watching you watch everybody. You got to pick somebody. All right, if I had to choose, I would say Song Lee. Oh, really? Or Song Lee. Yeah, that was actually a cool little scene uh, over there. I saw. I that saw. was a long day. I saw. What would you, what, what, what we working with over there? You. Oh, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're with something, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let me see. Y'all gonna see later, don't worry. We're gonna check it out. Okay, so do you guys have your own OnlyFans now, too, or you guys just came for the experience? Yeah. I do have an OnlyFans, I just don't have anything up on it yet. What? But you got three events under your belt. I know, I'm just waiting. So <laughs> I, I don't want to release everything all at once, so I want to build up my, cat, my okay. catalog. Okay, I feel you. Give it a little back work, okay? Do you have one yourself, and this is just something that you're like, let me just expand my portfolio or is just purely fan fucking and you're like i'm with the shit <laughs> uh, a little bit a little bit of all of okay them. i do have only fans yeah uh scorpio underscore v v with two e's um same i have it just don't have any content yet hopefully after this i will yeah but, well um, hopefully you're not three episodes in and <laughs> 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 i love it so what is your favorite type of scene to shoot i would say plain old boy girl or boy girl girl yeah you just like you just like a simple guy yeah i'm pretty simple i mean i'm i'm into some kinky stuff but well share with us friend what's the kinks what do we got going on you L definitely got some kinks i see it in your eyes a <laughs> <laughs> little bit of bondage uh, are you do you like to do the tying or you like to be tied up both Mm, okay. Both. I'm not. I haven't really um, experimented much in the bondage stuff, but I, w I wouldn't mind doing it for maybe an episode. Like if I could get somebody to come in and like yeah. do proper ties, you know, all the right ties and everything. I know nothing about. You it. just like I'm it. I'm brand new to it. I've never filmed bondage, but it's something that's been on my mind. Okay. Well, if we got any bondage girls in the house, make sure you guys go check out Dave because he's a, he's he's the rock star around here. He's gonna be around. <laughs> Super Dave. Super Dave. <laughs> Super Dave. <laughs> what we got over there? Is Scorpio B, right? I, always gonna, I told you I'm going to ask you with all the times. I'm terrible. <laughs> you got it. You got it. So what, um, is there any like particular type of like fetish thing that you've been like, I got to do that one day or I, I finally got to do it at any point, even if it wasn't here? Oh, that's haven't already done, that haven't already done yet in my personal life. Um, <laughs> in life. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you know. Uh, no, I mean, as you, as you mentioned, like, um, I like squirters. Like, I like that. Um, what is it about squirting that gets you? What is this? Do you, are you squirting? Do you like, I need it? You don't need it? I don't need that. What is it about squirting that does it for you? I mean, uh, I mean, from what I've been told by women, it's like the ultimate orgasm. So, you know what I'm saying? If you're putting that work in, yeah. she does it. It's like, like so it's more of working. like a goal that you're achieved. Like, if I, could make, yeah. if I could make that bitch squirt, I know I put in that work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Especially women who haven't, like, who never squirted before. Who never squirted. Have you been somebody's first squirt before? Yes. yes. Look at he's yes. proudly, yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm, with, with all humility, uh, like, you know, not trying to be cocky, but yes. And, uh, well, let's show me what you, what would you do to uh, get someone to squirt? Is it a, is it a hand thing? Is it a tongue thing? Is it a dick tongue, thing? Tongue thing. It's all, it's all tongue. Yes. yes. Are you sticking it like the tongue in there? Or uh, so when, to make them squirt, like uh, I would just lick the clits. Oh, uh, you just got that up. vibe. You just got that tongue, huh? Let me see. I, it. I Stick guess. it out. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. That shit is thick. <laughs> no, no, I, like, no wonder these bitches are squirt. That hole was big. It like was like you, little and then it got longer. You stuck it out further. <laughs> I mean, I like, you know, I like to give heads, so I guess that has something to do with it. You know, if you like, I need both. I need the I need the fingers and the tongue. And I do, I do that that's too. my favorite. I, I heard that's, that's how you get them to go, though. It's a little, it's kind of yeah, like a little. Yeah. So quick story, if you don't mind yeah, f We love stories. Actually, <laughs> here in Vegas, when I just came to visit, uh, you know, met this person. We hung out a few times. We got busy. Started to, um, uh, you know, I went down on her and I was doing that. I was doing the, you know, both with my tongue and, yeah. and, and the fingers. And, like, she just squirted so much that she actually made me tap out. She made, wait, you came because she came? No, no, no. Like, she came and I couldn't breathe because it was just so much. <laughs> she, she waterboarded <laughs> you. Yeah, and she had, <laughs> and she had her head, uh, her hand on my head. And I'm like, okay, like I'm just gonna lift up, you know, just like to breathe a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she just kept. I was like, I'm breathing. You know, <laughs> and, and you know, like afterwards, like after she was satisfied, like she would just laugh for like 
30 minutes straight because she almost <laughs> killed you she almost killed you she was like ah, lock so, job. so you know we'll, we'll see hopefully you know that, i need I, to know I, I need to know i'm gonna tap back in with you when i come back tomorrow i need to know who you hit and i need to know if you made him squirt okay and i'm gonna be checking okay. for your skills friend okay I'm okay I'm, i need I'm, to know I'm make do do and don't think I ain't forgot about you. What's your craziest? What's your craziest like fantasy? Because you say like you like normal regular stuff, but <laughs> like, but there's got to be a thing. You're like, man, if I could just do that. I would say reverse gangbang. Yeah, that oh, that's what Thor got that going on today. I know, I'm a little jealous. You know, tell him to stick around and just get that right <laughs> behind it. You know what I mean? Got a little double dip. <laughs> a little double dip. I'm sure you guys will work it out. I'm going to make him nervous because when I was trying to get him to come on, he's like, I'm really nervous. I don't want to talk. So I'm trying to do anything to make you nervous even more. Who's the fetish? Who's the foot guy? There's, like a, there's one. That's Rick. Oh, yeah. Rick was scared to come on. He's scared. Yeah. <laughs> Rick tells me, I don't want to be heard. And I was like, you're shooting porno. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. He's like, I have a corporate job. I'm like, you're shooting porn. <laughs> he's so funny. I love it. But so um, you guys are going to be here another day? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Are I'll you guys coming to the Thalathon? Yep. I'll be awesome. here till tomorrow night, late. Perfect. Are you guys staying actually uh, like at the Constant House, or do you guys get that something off? No, I'm staying over at the Wynn. Oh, okay. That's a nice little hotel. Yep. Stay ready, guys. Oh, look anyway. at you. Okay, stay ready. <laughs> <laughs> Winning around here. Hey, shout out to yeah, shout out to Stay Ready. Yeah. Ready, how long? Ready. And you guys have been like, you've been around Girls Home Wireless a while, so you feel the love and shit. So hopefully you continue to come around too. It's a really group, good group of people. Yeah. yeah. But I appreciate yeah. you guys taking the time to stop in. We definitely Absolutely. appreciate you guys coming and living the fan experience because that's kind of the reason why they do it. So yeah. Appreciate it's... it. Let everyone know one more time. You're well because you're on Instagram, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Scorpio V Instagram is coming soon. Um, but you can follow me on my OnlyFans, Scorpio underscore V with two E's. And yeah. And then we're going to get you to get your OnlyFans cracking. Yeah. I do have uh, Instagram. It's Dave the Man twelve twelve. Yeah, man, I like that. I love it. Thank you guys for coming <laughs> on. I appreciate it. You guys, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Yes, thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Thank you.